Hey guys, today I have a really nice fresh salmon steak and I'm going to try cooking it in my slow cooker. So let's get crocking. I bought this beautiful one pound fresh king salmon steak down at Andy's right in front of my house. $24.99 a pound and this is exactly one pound so that's a $24.99 piece of fish. So. Um, Hopefully I won't mess this up. First thing I'm going to do is rinse it off. Now I'm going to season this with some kosher salt. Pretty good amount. And some Johnny's seasoned pepper. Besides pepper, this has a little bit of sugar, red and green bell pepper, garlic, and onion in it. Okay, I'm going to let that kind of um, stick and then I'll flip it over and do the other side. I put my salmon in the slow cooker in a dry slow cooker no added liquid liquid. Now this is the neat part this has a temperature probe and so the probe pl plugs into the side of the pot and it will shut off at a specific temperature so I position the salmon right under the probe and uh, I'm just gonna stick it right into the thicker part of the salmon right there. I'm kind of excited about this. I hope it turns out good. Now let's see, I'm just going to program the slow cooker probe and I'm going to cook it on low and now um, desired temperature you want salmon cooked to 145 degrees so I'm going to program that so it will shut off at 140 because it's not going to quit cooking instantly you know it'll keep cooking for a little bit once it shuts off so now press start and that'll shut off when it's done it has been an hour and a half and my pot just shut off actually it didn't shut off it switched to warm so I'm gonna shut it off because I don't want that to keep cooking I'm gonna pull the probe out of there and also take the lid off well that looks pretty good let me let it rest for a minute or two and then we'll get it out of there. Hopefully I can get this out of there without it falling apart or sticking. Seems a little bit stuck. Okay, now I think it let go. There we go. Well, this looks pretty good. I sure hope it turned out good. Let's see how it looks here. Well, it looks nice and flaky. Wow, look at that. Flaking apart real nice. It's moist. Let me squeeze a little bit of lemon on that. I love lemon on salmon. Okay, let's try it out. That is super good. I wasn't quite sure just how this would work, but just look how moist and flaky that is. Just turned out super good. I guess we better see what Annie thinks. Want a little piece of salmon skin, Annie? What do you think of that? <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Well, that worked out really good. I was hoping I wouldn't ruin my expensive piece of fish. So, you can season that up any way you want it. And if you don't have a temp temperature probe with your slow cooker, just that took about an hour and a half. But, you know, you can just check it with a fork and when it's flaky, it's done. So, you might want to give that a try sometime. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time.